What is up guys and welcome back to our Road to Color Cream World of Sheffield United, episode number 38. It's the season 3 finale, we're going to see if we're actually going to win the league. You see now the league table, now we are kind of two games in hand over Arsenal, which is good because we're actually on the same points as them, but Man City are two points above us and they also we only have one game in hand over them. So that was what it was like going into the last three games of the season. I had quite a hard opponent first up, which was Tottenham. Now, last episode, we dropped a few, a few points, to be fair, guys. We lost against Chef Wednesday at home. We uh, drew against Liverpool, to be fair, which arguably is a good result, actually, so I wasn't really bothered about that. And then we did quite well, actually, against Sunderland. We came from 1-0 uh, behind to win 2-1 in the end. So, you know, I, I, I didn't really want to lose against Sheffield Wednesday because, you know, they are actually probably getting relegated this season. But, you know, at the same time, you know, we did drop points and that meant that the other teams, you know, they came and obviously kind of reached up and overtook us as well. So, going into the... Spurs game and obviously the last three games it was very very tight at the top and you know Arsenal was still there don't get me wrong but Man City you know was the hardest team to overtake they was the the second contender they was gonna you know go to the end of the season to see who was gonna win the league against them and to be fair against Tottenham we actually took the league quite early on we got a good goal to be fair and uh, going into half time or the second half we was actually 1-0 up and you know this game wasn't too good to be fair I mean you know, it's already 83rd minute. We did have. A, I should have gone on with Roberts here, but I, I stupidly passed it to Phillips. Um, we actually got another chance though after that. I see Ojo causing some nuisance. He's been quite good to be fair since uh, Antonio got injured. So you know he's obviously now into the squad. I think he's been in the squad for like the last three episodes now because Antonio's been injured for a while, and obviously Antonio's been one of my best players this year. And it was very frustrating that. You know, he got injured for like, I think it was eight weeks and he was going to miss the rest of the season. And I think he's missed about 10 games or so. So, he, he has been a big miss at the same time. But there again, we got a fantastic win against Tottenham. And obviously that, you know, that meant that we went above Man City technically if they didn't play their game. But this was our game in hand actually. And, um, you know, the good thing about it was Man City actually lost their uh, game, their 37th game of the season. So... That went, I think we took them over by one point, and we were still a game in hand over them. So, you know, we was, we was kind of in a good position. We just we kind of needed to win against Leicester. That, this was, you know, our game in hand. This was our chance to kind of already win the league in the sec in, you know, second to last game of the season. It's just it didn't happen. It was a very frustrating game. You know, Leicester had some really good chances. And I'm just so surprised that they didn't, you know, take any or score. Because, you know, they was probably the better team in this game. Like I said, they created so many more chances than us. You'll see, you look, there was clean through here and it put it wide. I was so lucky to not lose this game. But in the end, we do actually end up with a draw. Uh, end up with a point. So, going into last game of the season, we was two points above Man City. I think we was on something like 75 yeah, I think we were on 75 and they was on 73. So, you know, this game against Swansea, it meant I'd have to... Basically, if Man City won, I had to win because our goal difference wasn't as good as theirs. So, I had to... Technically, I had to win this game. If Man City would have drawn or lost, then obviously that meant I would have won the league because they wouldn't have had that many points to, um, obviously, overtake us. But, you know, I really wanted to win it. I really wanted to, you know, get that three points and win the league. But... It would actually not end up that way. You'll see it's it's not the best of games. There was only a few chances in the first half. Swansea, again, was defending very well like Leicester. And I just couldn't break them down. It was so frustrating. And, uh, look, in the end, we'd actually draw this game. And uh, you'll see Swansea have a good chance here, actually. Uh, in the end, Ramsdale pulls off a brilliant save. And that was the final whistle. And, you know, after the game, I was kind of looking at the celebrations thinking... Have we won the league? Well, the fans were cheering. Uh, the players weren't reacting that well. But in the end, I saw the players lining up. And we've won the league, guys. In our first season in the Premier League, a newly promoted side has won the Premier League. I don't know how I've done it. I really don't. But the main thing was Harry Maguire, the youth guy from Sheffield United, lifts up that trophy. Look at that brilliant, beautiful trophy of ours now. We are Premier League champions, guys. I'm surprised as much as you are, but to be fair, I didn't want to win the Premier League this year, but with how good the squad has played and how good, you know, we've played, it's it's quite a good achievement, to be fair. And, you know, I'm very, I'm very happy for us. As well, we won the EFL Cup against Chelsea in that final. So, you know, we did very well in domestic cups, to be fair, because we also got to the semis against uh, Everton, which we sadly lost 1-0. But the main thing was, 
won two trophies this year, and there it is, final Premier League table, we're on 76 points, again, 23 goal difference, three behind Man City, so if they'd won their game, they'd have, you know, they'd have won the leagues, simple as, but the main thing was, they obviously didn't, Man U, um, finishing in third, on goal difference, above Arsenal, finished in fourth, um, quite funny to be fair, Chelsea in fifth, Everton and Spurs in 6th and 7th and then obviously as you see Middlesbrough, Southampton surprisingly and Chef Wednesday all go down West Brom in the end it was quite close but I think that this final episode they kind of like uh, separated from the other teams but anyway here's the uh, objectives now we did really well on this we actually only didn't complete one of them and that was a, a one to do with the youth development we did one of the youth development ones which was sign one player to a midfield position but the other one was to play like five games now the thing is I signed Roberts like uh, last season, and he's like a really good player now. It's just this season I didn't really get any good youth development players, that's why I hadn't completed that one. But all the others, brand exposure, finished that kind of straight away. Domestic, obviously, just overachieved them by a lot. And uh, financial, um, obviously, as you see, I, I, I did that as well. Obviously, that's not really to do with me, but you know, I just did it in the end. And here's obviously the squad report now. Ramsdale didn't go up, I mean he's only an 80 rated, he probably won't go any higher anymore, but he's still a fantastic goalkeeper, apart from that, there's just so much growth, plus ones, plus twos, plus threes, even more, uh, even my lone players are going up to be fair, so well done to them, I mean some of the players that went up a lot didn't even hardly even play, I mean... It's just, it's just how well, how good this squad has gone, and uh, I'm, you know, looking forward to next season, obviously, with this squad, because, you know, I've, I've been kind of wondering, will it compete next year in the Champions League, but I think it will, to be fair, a lot of the players have gone up to a lot higher ratings now, I mean, look at Loftus-Cheek, he's gone up seven ratings, and now Dembele is an 80-rated striker, so, um, overall, this season has been just such a success, it's been so good, thank you, you guys, for watching it as well, and also, season four will be straight after this, there won't be any break. We're going straight into season four with Sheffield United in the Champions League. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you have, please hit the like button, subscribe if you are new, and guys, I'll be seeing you later. Peace!